dear student today we will start the chapter that is the chapter number 14 and the topic of the chapter is written here electric current and its effect it is very interesting so we will start from very basic idea that is what is electric current and some effects of it generally you know electric current what is electric current current is nothing but the flow of charge and from where the charges are coming so if we go deep into this chapter then of course the electron you know atom will come so in this time at this stage i will not go that deeper into the topic so first of all uh, you remember what is electric current electric current is nothing but the rate of flow of charge and charges are coming from the you know, atom atom has some positive charges that is proton it has some negative charges that is electron and due to some interactions with this the charges are coming okay and that charges when flows through a conductor like wire then the current will be originated so this is actually the origin of the current and what are the effects effects you know heating effect of electric current you know suppose when current flows in a circuit you have felt or realized it has been heated up so this heating effect one of the effect of the electric current another effect you have already uh, realized that is the magnetic effect when current flows in a circuit current flows in a wire then if you bring some iron nails then iron nails will be attracted towards the wire so this is nothing but the magnetic effect of electric current and another effect of electric current that is the chemical effect of electric current generally in this chapter we will study and focus on the heating effect of electric current and uh, magnetic effects also so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so now read this topic first why, why? Electric, electric current, current and, its and its effects, effects. oh you might have tried the game how steady is your hand suggested in chapter 12 of class 6 if not you may try it out now Paheli and Bujo had also set up the game by connecting an electric circuit as suggested in class 6. They had lots of fun trying it out with their families and friends. They enjoyed it so much that they decided to suggest it to a cousin of theirs who stayed in a different town. So, Paheli made a neat drawing showing how the various electric components were to be connected. Fig.14.1 now if you just watch this circuit here you can see one circuit we have made with a pin one safety pin and some wires and one key some pins and one beard wire okay so if you start from the cell plus sign you can see here and one minus sign you can see here that means it is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and current always flow from positive to negative then current will flow this direction okay and you can see this is the wire it is connected with the another nail and so current will always flow through conductor if there is a path is closed then it will only follow that path you can see it will not move towards the bottom of the ground of this cardboard or the stand it will not come in this direction it will come this direction because this is the closed path you can see this is the closed path so it will always flow through the closed path so it will come down and then follow this path and finally goes to the bulb and you know bulb there is a filament you know filament is made up of tungsten it is uh, you know very 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 thin so when current flows through it actually what happened the it will heat it up because if a, a thin wire is there so current actually the electrons which are moving inside it actually current is moving means charges are flowing so i have told you the rate of charge is nothing but the current so so electron gets electrons are getting some opposition due to this opposition they they will be heated up and this heating effect actually uh, gives the light heating effect actually when it heats up with a tremendous temperature then it gives light that is the glowing of a bulb and then 
the electron will flow in this direction and you can see there is a safety pin we have used this safety pin actually acts as a uh, switch when this safety pin we have just opened or disconnected from this wire then it will act as a switch so making make to make and break a circuit switch is used so here we can use the safety pin as a switch and then the remaining terminal is connected to the battery this is connected to a at the negative terminal of the battery so this is actually a circuit now read from here can you draw this circuit conveniently it made Pucho wonder if there was an easier way to represent these electric components okay so after just watching this figure if the, is this uh, figure is convenient to you is it convenient actually we make it more convenient by using some symbols that's why symbol has been introduced in the physics chapter so instead of drawing this a uh, bigger you know cell instead of drawing so many things inside the answer sheet so it will be more easier it will be more convenient if we use some symbol instead of this battery instead of this wire instead of this safety pin and instead of this bulb so that's why you know symbols are needed so now symbols of electric circuit so we some common electric components can be represented by symbols in table 14.1 some electric components and their symbols are shown you may come across different symbols for these components in different books however in this book we shall be using the symbols shown here okay now the next Stanger. Look at the symbols carefully. In the symbol for the electric cell, notice that there is a longer line and a shorter but thicker parallel line. Do you recall that an electric cell has a positive terminal and a negative terminal? In the symbol of the electric cell, the longer line represents the positive terminal and the thicker, shorter line represents the negative terminal. Okay. In this stanza, you can see for a switch, the on position and the off positions are represented by the symbols as shown. You can see this is the switch in on position because these two terminals are connected. You know this wire and that wire is connected by a conductor. So it is on. And here you can see this terminal and this terminal is not connected. It is uh, the safety pin has displaced from this position. So it is actually the off position of the switch. So I think you have understood. And in table 14.1, table 14.1 means this table, it is written here, a battery and its symbols are also shown. Do you know what this battery is? What, the, uh, what a battery is? Look at the symbol of the battery. Can you make out what a battery could be? For some of the activities, we may need more than one cell. So we connect two or more cells together as shown in the figure 14.2. Notice. So you can see uh, this is battery because one or more cells are connected and that's why it is battery and wire symbol is you know by a line so these are given here so notice one thing here so you can see this is one cell and it is few minutes ago i have told you that longer line is not as the positive terminal and the thicker shorter line is known as the negative terminal so this negative terminal is connected with the positive terminal of a battery positive terminal of a cell negative terminal of one cell is connected to the positive terminal of the other cell and this type of combination is known as the uh, battery okay and now read here many devices such as torches transistors toys tv remote controls use batteries however in some of these devices the electric cells are not always placed one after the other as shown in fig 14.2 sometimes the cells are placed side by side then how are the terminals of the cells connected look carefully inside the battery compartment of any device there is usually a thick wire or a metal strip connecting the positive terminal of one cell to the negative terminal of the next cell fig.14.3 
In order to help you to place the cells correctly in the battery compartment, plus and symbols are usually printed there. How can we connect the cells to prepare batteries for our activities? You may make a cell holder, as shown in Fig.14.4, using a wooden block, two iron strips and rubber bands. It is necessary that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell. Such a combination of two or more cells is called a battery. So now, uh, you have to connect more cells, so there is a requirement, you have to add more cells. So how do you connect more cells? There is a way. And this type of combinations of the cell, generally in this chapter, in these lower classes, it will be obviously series connection. What is series connection? How do you connect the cells? So positive terminal, one so suppose you have connected from here, you have studied, studied connecting to cells then you know this positive terminal and then neg negative terminal and the negative terminal of this cell is connected to the positive terminal so this is the connection type and this is negative terminal so one positive and one negative will be opened so that you can make the circuit here the remaining circuit you make here and here you can see pos negative positive negative positive negative positive they are connected and one positive and one negative is now opened so that you can connect the remaining circuit here you can see here one thing we do uh, how to connect these cells and we'll make one battery and we know the rule what is the rule so one positive and one negative will be remained unblocked that is opened and the remaining positive negative terminal will be connected how they will be connected i will show you in this figure now this is the positive okay this is positive terminal this is positive terminal and this is the negative terminal so it will be opened then this positive terminal this is positive then negative so this negative will be connected to the positive of the other cell okay then the negative terminal here it is opened so this will be connected to the positive terminal of the other cell next cell so you have to add in this way okay we have added now now positive negative then positive negative then positive then negative then negative then again it will be connected with the positive terminal already it is connected and now if we just connect one bulb here suppose here just connected in this way I suppose this is bulb okay so this will glow because this bulb is connected finally uh, within one positive terminal and one negative terminal so what uh, we have done we have done we have just added more cells to power it up okay now this these are the holders you can see uh, you can see this is a cell holder these two terminals are made of metal and in between the two cells they are connected with the negative positive automatically by this rubber band rubber band are contracting to each other contracting each other so that they will uh, placed in a particular position and this will be more convenient and actually this is called the negative terminal this is positive terminal positive terminal is connected with the negative terminal and this is a positive terminal so one positive terminal and one ne negative terminal finally it will be opened and you have to connect the remaining circuit there okay this is actually the called the cell holder different type of cell holder are there so this is actually known as the series combination thank you for watching my video if you think video is helpful to you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for next up upcoming videos Thank you.